And it's time to welcome our next guest. He first starred in the smash hit comedy, Kenny. Since then, he hasn't stopped working, appearing on stage, film and TV. Please welcome Shane Jacobson. You're one of four children, yes. uh, born to Ron and Jill. Yes. What did mum and dad do? Uh, they're both long stays in what they do. Mum's been teaching. Calisthenics is what she does. Yes. Um, she has a, a club called Avon Calisthenic College. And uh, Dad worked for, the, worked for the government for many years in, in the transport and storage uh, area. And uh, Dad would never call himself. He still doesn't call himself an actor or a comedian, but he... Uh, Dad used to do these cricket nights, you know, these comedy nights. Yeah. And I remember, you know, things like he'd be... I remember he did one dressed as a pill, as in, like, a female pill, <laughs> and did a whole oh, sketch <laughs> right. as a pill. You know, I, I just do these most extraordinary acts. So, uh, so that's that's where my first. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't, didn't, just I didn't say it wasn't odd. A pill. <laughs> yeah, pill. All right, let's get to the first photo because it does involve uh, your mum. Oh, that's my beautiful mum. There's Jill there, and um, in those days, mum mum always uh, loves telling the story, and, and therefore I think she'd probably love me to repeat it. But. That was the, that were the days when they they took the children. Yes, they spent some time with their mother post the, the, immediately yes. after the birth, but then the children were taken away. The bubs were taken away and, and taken into separate rooms. And mum, I, I guess like most mothers and all parents, they didn't want that to happen. So mum used to hide me under the sheets, <laughs> and the nurses would would come in and say, "Oh, uh, where's where's Shane? Where's the little Shane? one?" And she'd say, "Oh, they've already taken him." <laughs> But I think she used to send the hospital into a bit of a flat spin because there'd be a missing child. <laughs> so what, they'd, they'd take the... What, this is the 30s or something, is well, it? Yeah. <laughs> and do you think all those nights under the bedclothes, did it have an effect on you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not claustrophobic, no, no. Good. No, it was out of love. There was no of malice course. in it, I hope. Absolutely not. Oh, look. Of the photos... Hello. Now, just set the scene here. <laughs> it speaks for itself. I, I, honestly, as a comedian, that got such a good laugh. Why would we go any further? That's right. <laughs> this, this was... Um, my, my parents had, had not long uh, separated for this photo, and, and my, my dad had not long since left the house after, after they'd, they'd separated. Um, but a lot of his stuff was still in the house. He, he, had, um, he had clothes there, and I'd apparently, well, going out or getting ready to go out, and apparently I'd said to Mum, can I wear Dad's socks today? And she said, of course you can, darling. But she didn't know that that's all I planned on wearing. <laughs> <laughs> so... I, uh, I went out the front and said, well, let, let's go. And so. do you remember the split? Mum and Dad. No, no, I don't. No, I don't actually. It was. Uh, it was. Uh, I, I was just aware that, that my parents lived in, in different houses, and uh, which I thought was cool because I got two sets of presents and had two places to go. But uh, my memory, early memories, when before he left, were just um, were just mowing the lawn. I remember, uh, like, I have little snippets and yeah. almost like a, a short film in my mind that he used to mow the lawns and I used to push a, a fake plastic mower behind him, and that was. And he'd always say, "Keep behind, son. Keep behind." And uh, that was obviously so I wouldn't get hit with the rocks. And, um, but I remember that he, he used to push that. And then he'd stop and go, look behind. And I'd look back and, and the grass would be mowed. And he'd go, hey, you're doing all right. And I, <laughs> and I, but I, I, I honestly thought <clears throat> that I was mowing the grass. Yeah. So uh, there we go. No, no one's going to be cutting my grass if I've got one that side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, there you go. That's... Uh, <laughs> It's just what I used to wear around the house. Next photo. <laughs> it's better than naked. That, that was uh, my first performance. Actually, that's a lie. My dad always says, my first performance was, they had friends around for, for dinner, drinks, whatever it may be. And I was apparently just a, a child in nappies. And apparently I'd, I'd figured something out. And I must have done it all on my own, but I decided to display my new discovery. And I'd run into the lounge room. We had polished floorboards at the time. Well, there they are. And, uh, and I, uh, I went in there with just a singlet and my nappy on um, and uh, pulled my nappy down and flopped straight on the floor with my bare bum and let one rip. Cause, and it went... <laughs> and made up. Wow. It, did, it didn't have that noise in it, because that would have been weird. There would have been... That's right. 
piercings in my Gee. rear end. But, and, and then pulled up my nappy and ran. And apparently he said, that kid is going to be a problem. But, or that kid will make a film about portaloos. Yeah. <laughs> or I just invented the first hovercraft. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing? Is that a routine? You're... It was, it was, my mum, mum had a, a calisthenic concert that happened there often, every year, she'd put on a display. And, uh, and one year they wanted, there was a, a bunch of girls dancing and I walked out as a cowboy and I did, used to fire some guns and I'd turn the guns on myself, pretend to shoot and I'd fall over flat on my back. And, and they all clapped and laughed and it, I would have been on stage for all of a minute. And I remember walking, I, I remember that feeling of, of walking out on stage terrified before I walked out and then energised the moment I got there. And, uh, and at that point, I, you know, I really do, I remember that moment very, very clearly. Here I am in a costume and I'm performing. And, I, and, I, and from that moment on, I wanted, I wanted to keep doing it, and I did. And you did. But at that concert, I used to pull the curtain open at the start of the show, and I'd close it at interval, open it for the second act, and then close it at the end. And I would just turn a big wheel to turn the lights on. And uh, I thought I was so important closing that curtain. I used to always, you know... <clears throat> People would say, how are you, Sean? Oh, good, I've got to get back to her. I've got to uh, open the curtain for the start. <laughs> <laughs> All these girls had spent an entire year learning yeah. these elaborate routines and I just thought people would be impressed that it was the curtain. <laughs> I just assumed people would be going, that's, that's that young Jacobson kid. That's right. <laughs> Never thinking there's parents in there yeah. just going, just hurry up and open the curtain, turn the yeah. lights on, we want to see our daughter yeah. dance. Yeah. We are dealing with your childhood photos. Now, you've got a brand new child. Yes. Who has a very special middle name. <laughs> My mother-in-law would prefer it if I didn't announce this again. She's telling everyone his name is Will Jacobson, and, and that is true. Uh, but by announcing it that way, it means we're ignoring his middle name, which is Danger. <laughs> yes, so Danger is his middle name. <laughs> Look at that. Where are you? Oh, you mean spiritually, where am I at that moment? I, I would suggest lost. That's in Vanuatu. Yep. And before we talk about that, the reason I'm there is... This, so this very studio um, uh, used to have a show in it um, called Man O' Man. <laughs> and Man O' Man, that... <laughs> that I, I went on it. I, uh, I won it, right? <laughs> Which, actually, that's, that's Which wrong. was not hard? Well, actually, I've got to be honest. In, and I, hand on heart, yeah. uh, as my mum would prefer me to say, as God is my judge, I honestly don't think I won it. I just think I was the last one left. <laughs> Everyone just went, toss bag, idiot, right. jerk. Yeah. And then at the end, they just kept pushing people to fall. And there's me. And, they all, <laughs> and I think they all went, oh, oh, uh, we've got a winner. <laughs> I mean that. There and was what, and everyone you was win? better looking, smarter, stronger, longer, all that sort of stuff. I, I, I just. I, I, and what I, did you win? Well, you, what you win is a trip to Vanuatu. <laughs> now, there's all these. There was this misconception, or everyone else has said there was all these beautiful girls on the show, but you don't get to take them. They're the dancers. They're they're employed from the network, so they just go. You've won two tickets, and, and you know the, the girls had. No, there's no girls. It's the only right. show where you win the girl's heart. But then once you've won the show, she's gone, <laughs> and, and, and there's your two tickets. So I remember going to mates. They watched the show and went, "Hey mate, who are you taking?" All my mates, "Who are you taking?" I was single at the time. "Who are you taking? Who are you taking?" I said to my mates, "Well, you know, you know what's on the table." So my mate, Wayne, uh, Worm, Worm is his name, Wayne Monton, he came up with a dryer and a microwave. So to Vanuatu. <laughs> Give me Brian. Oh, that... <clears throat> Hang on. Yeah. Oh, well, here, not from a moped to uh, a car, a rally car. Yeah, this was... <laughs> we, 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 I was in a Rover crew, which was like older scouts, yeah. and, and we used to go on this event called Mud Bash. And uh, the car went all right, it really did. But we never thought it was really going to be good enough to win. But they had one trophy there, best presented. And for that, you just had to make the car somewhat exciting for people who were watching. And so I used to do fireworks for me mate, best mate, Steve Lawton, whose dad was a pyrotechnician. So as soon as any race would start, we'd just strap a heap of fireworks to it. And <laughs> every year we get the best presented trophy. <laughs> So that was the start. That was uh, that was back in the good old days of fireworks. So and it was also, you know, I, I've, I have a, an interest in cars, and used to, we used yeah. to do amateur style rally, yeah. and that was kind of it's funny, that, you know, not, not to know that it was going to lead on to yeah. me hosting Top Gear. We've got to the bottom of it. Give me Brian. Hang on. 
One more. One more. <laughs> I could not leave this one out. It's you, I think, playing your only game of football. Ever. I believe, Ever. I believe it's Shane with the arms crossed. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Hey. No, just go up a little bit. Um, <laughs> these were the start from Westpac Bank. I was an investigator for credit and MasterCard fraud for a little while. Um, of course. Um, and uh, oh, this was the, the social football match for the Westpac Consumer Finance Centre. Yeah. And my dad found out that I was going to go and play. It was just a social match. And uh, anyway, unbeknownst to me, my dad had turned up in like a hat and a trench coat, <laughs> like some weird flasher, <laughs> and sat on a park bench just not wanting to put me off the game, just to see if I had the sporting ability that he was pretty sure would be hidden in me somewhere <laughs> as a Jacobson. Well, he was wrong. Uh, because what he, did he see? Well, what he saw was a pack. There was a, a pack was there, and the ball was in the pack, and courageous young Jacobson there decided to just run into that pack and grab that ball. And I did. I just went, I'm going to get that ball. I, I'm all over this football thing. <laughs> and I grabbed that ball, and Dad now turned to Dad's version of what he saw, and he said, I saw you run in there like a mad dog. He said, I was so proud, he said. <laughs> you went in there and you grabbed that ball and you burst out the other side of the pack like a maniac. He said, it was fantastic. And he said, and then you ran another three metres and you threw the ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You threw the ball. Handball, son. You've never watched the game. <laughs> I said, well, Dad, while I was sitting out there throwing a ball instead of handballing it, there was hundreds of people staring at you going, what's that silly old <laughs> flasher doing there? <laughs> staring at young, virile men. So it was, it was a bad day for all of oh. us. <laughs> How about a hand for Shane Jacobs?